Okay, so we're going to begin this assembly with uh, a little bit of grease. And we're going to grease these lambs that are right here just a little bit. It doesn't take a bunch. But I know on both sides there, we're going to get a little grease where the pivot's going to rest. Then we're going to take the yellow, orange, and blue wire and also the USB cable, the cutoff end. And we're going to start by taking these three wires. We'll just twist them together to make it easier to, to feed them through. We're going to put them through this hole right here in the back of the support, like that. And they're going to feed right up through the center part of it there, maybe. There you go, two of them. Come on, yellow wire. Come on, yellow wire. wires up here like that so we'll pull them through leaving enough length on them of course to get to where our uh, potentiometer is going to, going to be mounted so then we're going to take this USB cable and we're going to feed it in the center hole in the front here doing the same thing we're going to feed it through and pull it up those through now. Length out. So then we're going to take this bundle and these three wires and the USB cable and we're going to feed them into this little hole here in the back of the in the back of the pivot like that. And we're going to feed those all the way up and more and more until they come out the end and then we're going to take and we're going to pull this through um, a pretty decent distance uh, because of the fact when we when we put this together we do some soldering I've got to have room for this to go uh, through the throttle through the throttle handle and uh, and to, to be able to solder up to one of the other pieces. So we're going to pull that through. So we have, oh gosh, it looks like we're probably about 8 inches, 10, 8, 10 inches in there. Um, any part that we pull this through is, 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 is room we won't have on the end of this cable. But I got it, I started with a 10 foot cable. So even if you're, you know, 2 feet in there, you still have an 8 foot cable. So it's not a big deal. Okay, so now once we've got these in place, now we're going to take and we're going to, this is going to be, this where it takes a little bit of dexterity. Our Jedi flotation device here, our spring here, is going to get caught behind this support right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push that down in there, we're going to push the spring in, and we're going to hold the spring with our finger while we push this into position. And then, as you can see here, we're lining up the back of this with the back of the support, okay? And starting these first off would have been a good idea, but hey. So I'm going to get the bolts started. And I'll get one started in there. And these, are, these bolts are now, um, they're screwing into that bushing that we put in between the spring because it's threaded. And we'll do the other side too. And we're going to make sure it's all lined up and we're going to start it threading. And, and the grease also helps this bolt into the hole too. So um, that grease that we put on there serves a dual, dual purpose. Um, I like to grease any of the bolts that I'm going to put into plastic. Uh, especially if I'm going to put them in with a, a nut drive or something, something that moves fast, you know, like an electric driver, because uh, that'll generate a lot of heat, and we don't want to overheat the plastic and cause it to melt. So once we get these in there, 
Uh, I'll let that spring off, spring up, and that's going to hold that up in the up position because we don't have the weight of the head on it right now. And I'll finish getting that screwed in. Oops. And you got to hold both ends. Once it gets to a certain point, you have to put a an Allen wrench into both sides to keep the bushing from spinning. So we'll do that here. So I mean, you get them snug. They don't have to be super duper tight because we want that we want that nice smooth motion that we got there now. Okay. All right. So and that is in place. So the next thing we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up putting the brake on. Um, so I'll be back in a second with that. I got to grab the pieces that hold the brake in place, and we'll do that part. Cool.